Tonight we do want to begin with the latest efforts to stop the human smuggling that seems to be on the increase here in South Texas. Brooks County has come to be a hot spot where human smugglers try to bring illegal immigrants into the country and in many cases it happens right in front of law officers. Our Michael Gibson spoke with Brooks County Sheriff Benny Martinez about the growing concern. He says lately his deputies have been in chases nearly every day, in some cases multiple times a day. It is our top story at 10. This high-speed pursuit in Brooks County is coming to an end, and a foot chase is about to be on. That as deputies try and catch the smuggler and his load of immigrants who are making a run for freedom. Get the door! Get the door! Get the door! Get the door! Get the Within a few minutes, Border Patrol and other lawmen join Brooks County deputies in the search for those trying to get into the country illegally, along with that coyote who was hired to do the job. What are your deputies having to do? Are, are they every day involved in a chase? Is it once a week? And, and what difference was that from like maybe a couple of months ago? There's a lot of difference because I, I, actually we, I think there was maybe five, maybe five pursuits that occurred in one day uh, here in Brooks County, probably uh, a week ago, a week, you know, a week and a half ago, eight days, nine days approximately. So, and that's pretty much constantly. Brooks County Sheriff Benny Martinez says that the human smuggling business has been going strong lately. That means his deputies have had to rely on a lot of help to catch those smugglers who try and quietly move up and down the back roads. They then wait for 12 to 15 immigrants to jump out of the brush and into their truck and take off for all points north. We're, we're still working with, with the one or two guys that, that is constantly out there. Uh, but then force multiplier, you use the police department and you use Border Patrol also for assistance and the surrounding counties. We spoke with State Senator Chuy Inahosa, who represents Brooks County, about this issue, and here's what he says he's prepared to do. But I will uh, communicate with uh, Governor Abbott uh, and, and make him aware of what's happening. I think he already knows, uh, but also DPS Director uh, Steve McCraw uh, to see if we can uh, move and provide some assistance uh, to share from Brooks County. That help couldn't come too soon. Take a look at this pursuit video. Two men jump out of that pickup truck and take off running. But the door remains open, and it appears that the driver is still saying something to them. As the truck starts moving toward the left lane of the major highway, the Brooks County deputy moves up to see what's wrong with that driver. And guess what? There's no one behind the wheel, and the deputy has to jump out of his patrol car and run to get into the truck and stop it before it causes someone to crash. Luckily, he got there in time. This is one of the many reasons why Brooks County would welcome any additional help the state or anyone else could provide. Michael Gibson, 3 News.